Hey guys, in this video I want to tell you about the wrong way and the right way to build an engineered clan, since that may be what we have to do since that's the way Supercell wants the game played. In our last two wars we won one against an engineered clan and lost the second against an engineered clan. And there's some clear differences in how they built their bases. So let's look at the war that we won. It's the one on the screen right now. You see there, number one was legitimate Town Hall 11. It was paired with our one Town Hall 11 in the war. Their number two and number three were straight up Town Hall 10s, good defenses, good Town Hall 10 troops. They were paired with Town Hall 10s from us. Their number four was a Town Hall 11 paired with our Town Hall 10. Now, this Town Hall 11 has basically Town Hall 10 level defenses and Town Hall 10 level troops. So even though he's paired with a Town Hall 10 that was much earlier in its stages on our side, it's still a 10v10. But then let's look at their number five. This is a Town Hall 11 with basically Town Hall 8, maybe a couple of Town Hall 9 defenses. But he's clearly got a bunch of Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 troops. So he is trying to be engineered, but he isn't quite there yet. Not in terms of really good engineering. Their next base was a Town Hall 8. Their next two bases were Town Hall 8s. And then their number 9 is back to be in a Town Hall 10. He's got Town Hall 8 defenses and Town Hall 9 to 10 troops. And their bottom base, paired with one of our three Town Hall 8s, was a Town Hall 9 with, again, probably about Town Hall 7 defenses. And pretty clearly, some Town Hall 9 troops, a bunch of, of lower level troops, so there's even some Town Hall 7 troops in there, so he's got a, a mix. So these guys were clearly trying to be engineered, but they didn't take it quite far enough, and it looks like they're losing wars. So now let's look at our most recent war and see the right way to engineer a base. Now here's the second clan and our most recent war, and you can see these guys knock the socks off of us. They came right out of the box, got 30 stars, on our side, it seemed like, why bother attacking? You see, we had the same number of attacks, but I'll, I can explain to you how they really don't line up. So this is the proper way. This is the way, if you want to win in Clash of Clans, this is the way you play under the new war match algorithm. This is in a 10v10, obviously. So you, you start off with a Town Hall 11, good solid Town Hall 11 defensively, and offensively, still got a ways to go, but he's, he's solid, he's pretty close to our number one. Then, very high on the map, you want a Town Hall 11 that is clearly engineered. Now this guy doesn't have Infernos, and he doesn't have an Eagle Artillery, that's gonna really lower his war weight, but what he does have is nice high level troops, he's still gotta work on those heroes, but I'm sure he'll get there and won't build those other defenses. That's the first critical part of your engineered clan. Then below that, you want to have some good solid Town Hall 10s. Maybe haven't maxed quite all their defenses, but in, in this case, missing an, uh, an Expo. But good solid Town Hall 10 troops. So here, troops are a little higher level than the defenses. Get a couple of those. And then, in about the middle of your group, you want another engineered Town Hall 11. And you can see this guy's got like Town Hall 7 level defenses. But he's got good solid Town Hall 10 troops. So he's going to be able to take out any problems in the middle of the map. And then at the bottom of the map, it doesn't matter. You throw in anything you want. Eights, sevens, sixes fives, the lower the better, because you don't even expect these people to show up for the war. You don't care if they show up. Obviously this guy's working on building another engineered base, and I'm sure he'll show up when he gets to Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11. Let me show you why you don't need to expect them to show up. You look at their attacks. Their bottom three didn't bother to attack, 
and they're fourth from the bottom. Did two one stars just to get some loot, but obviously not a player. They're number six, that was an engineer, Town Hall 11. Took out our bottom two bases. Well, I, I don't know how he missed number nine. That He had to have lost Wi-Fi, but he could have attacked much higher. Then their three, four, and five were Town Hall 10s, and what they did was almost all of those attacks are down, they're attacking down on Town Hall 9s. There are only two of them that are across on other Town Hall 10s, although they are much lower Town Hall 10s. Then their number two, remember, is that engineered Town Hall 11. He attacks down to a Town Hall 10, and the one good attack that they had that would really be worth showing, except I'm not going to burn one of our bases, was that guy who's a pretty much max Town Hall 11 offensively, three-starred our Town Hall 11, which is not a max base, but is, is a very solid Town Hall 11, so props to him. That was a very good three-star attack. That's the only one of theirs that wasn't either an attack down a Town Hall level or an attack on a weaker base at the same level. Their number one, a Town Hall 11, a solid Town Hall 11, three-starred a Town Hall 10, and a Town Hall 8. So that's the way to do an engineered base. I showed you the wrong way and the right way. You don't need the bottom bases. Your bottom four bases and a 10v10 are throwaways. But, and you don't need all your bases to be engineered. Two will do it. Three might even be better, assuming that you've got really low weight bases at the bottom to offset your war weights. And you can see this is definitely a winning strategy. These guys are winning about four wars for every one that they're losing. It may be more like five wars for every one they're losing. This is the strategy that wins wars in Clash of Clans with the current war match algorithm.